Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake was unable to join us today, but speaking on her behalf is Kevin Cleary. He's Deputy Director of the Mayor's Office of Neighborhoods. Kevin? Good afternoon. Unfortunately, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake could not attend today's ceremony as originally scheduled. She asked me to extend to our guests her deep regret. Baltimore City is honored to receive this gift of sculpture honoring Brooks Robinson. In recognition of this new sculpture, this area has been named Brooks Robinson Plaza. The signs designating the plaza are being unveiled left and right of the stage. How about the other side? <laughs> we'll get a ladder real quick. Well, on behalf of Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, I would like to thank the Babe Ruth Birthplace Foundation, the Dorothy L. and Henry A. Rosenberg Jr. Foundation, as well as all of the sponsors, donors, project partners, the Public Art Commission, the Baltimore Office of Promotion in the Arts, the Department of Transportation, and all the city agencies that have made this event possible. And of course, a special thank you to Joseph Shepard for his work that we will soon unveil, hopefully successfully. <laughs> we'll work on that. Before sitting down, I would like to close with a personal story. As a young man, I dated a woman whose family lived in the Bel Air Edison neighborhood, although I think our good senator would call it the Blair Edison neighborhood. And while like many of their neighbors, they worshiped at the Shrine of the Little Flower on Bella Road, I know they said a lot of prayers at Memorial Stadium on 33rd Street. My girlfriend had four sisters and lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins. They all love the O's, and they all love Brooks best of all. And I remember going with the entire family to the Thanks Brooks Day in 1977 to celebrate his career. That was a great day. So it is now a great personal honor for me, these many years later, to speak for Mayor Rawlings Blake and the citizens of Baltimore in saying, once again, thanks, Brooks. <laughs>